From the post-millennial, we've got a news source that I wanted to cover just about a minute ago, but I'm a little late to it, but it is just as important to cover now as it was then, because it is still someone who clearly does not live in truth, and my opinion is that it is only scummy people who tell falsities to people just to line their pockets. For today, however, I'm going to cover a liberal who goes by Chelsea Handler, the egotistical anti-racism liar, and why would I call her a liar? That seems a little much. Well, if it is not obvious, I have a real big distaste for people who say that they would, quote, give up their house to solve racism, and here is that magnificent clip. A lot of revelation in watching your documentary. Seeing how white people could actually be confused by the idea of white privilege and why there would be some white people that believe that white privilege is non-existent. So what we're filming is a documentary on white privilege to see if it exists or if it's a fantasy that people are just making up in their heads. What do you think? I think it's something they're making up in their heads. You don't think it exists? No, I've had the same privileges that the other guys had. And what, what other guys? Other guys, black, white, Hispanic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think everybody makes their own choices. You were surprised about that. I was surprised because really? yes, because privilege to a lot of people is related to money. Money. Mm -hmm. That's how I thought of it. Right. Right. And I read a line in a book that said, "To many people, equality feels like a loss." Right. And that's the moment. That was the line. I'm very big on one line takeaways. Right. Equality feels like a loss. And then I thought, what would I be willing to give up? In, in the name of equality. Right. I, if I really were, if you were to say to me, hey, give me your house and everything's going to be fair and equal. Oh, right. Sure, of course and, I would. Right. But, but what would individuals who, who have nothing to give right. be okay with giving? Right. I feel like if you're born white, you're born with your foot in the door. Absolutely. Then find out that they're the same person who is currently having to remind 50 Cent that he is black and can't vote for Trump. Would you believe that? A liberal, or left-wing, whatever you want to call it, is the same person who is white. Just as a reminder, could you also believe that? Who is reminding 50 Cent that he is black. But here is that clip. You heard about my ex-boyfriend, right? 50 Cent and his support of of, of uh, Donald Trump. Yeah, what's going on between you? I, I saw your tweets and I go, wait, what's happening? Because you said he was your favorite ex-boyfriend and then he, what does he do? He's supporting Trump? He says he doesn't want to pay 62% of taxes, which by the way, isn't a plan of Joe Biden's. That's, that's, that's a lie. So he doesn't want to pay 62% of taxes because he doesn't want to go from being 50 cent to 20 cent. <laughs> and, I, and I had to remind him that he was a black person so he can't vote for Donald Trump and that he shouldn't be influencing an entire swath of people who may listen to him because he's worried about his own personal pocketbook. So I haven't heard back from him yet, but I, I am willing to, you know, seal the deal in more ways than one if he changes his mind and publicly denounces Donald Trump. I might be willing to go for another spin, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And then we've got a gorgeous little post talking about a BLM from her that goes, quote, Hey, f***er, I will pay your taxes in exchange for you coming to your senses. Happily, Black Lives Matter. That is you, f***er, remember? And so, what we've got here is a stupidly dishonest person saying that saying things like black lives matter and also saying things like I would give up my house to solve racism and it has all come out into the light to repay retribution to her for being a massive racist. The message for today live in truth and be honest and then things like your past can't come back to harm you cause you're honest. Apparently she's a comedian not sure how anyone can find hypocrisy as laughable rather than admonishable. Oh, wait, sorry. Hypocrisy can be funny. It's just Chelsea not being funny because she actively is being a deplorable person for being racist for the sake of just because I'm against Trump. Isn't that a thing, though? Left-wing people talking about MAGA being the home of racism. Meanwhile, we've got a large left-leaning personality actively being out and open about the racism. Why, look at that, everybody. The racism has gone full circle. It went from complaining about the racism to then joining the racists. But 
that is not really what I want to talk about here because it's just stupid. What I want to talk about is how dishonesty is stupidity. Because one way or another, the truth always prevails. Which means you can either be honest now or get shot in the foot later by your own stupidity. And look, I know this video is a bit shorter, but it's just because I had to get this off my chest. Like, I just hate stupidity. You have a brain, yet you refuse to use it. Like, why? Ugh. I, I just... I just hate dishonesty, like it infuriates me to no end. And look, I understand, sometimes you change your mind as you grow up or sometimes you are just wrong, but guess what? It is okay to be wrong, but if you are wrong, then you should want to change in the correct direction. Being wrong is not stupid, we all do it. But actively knowing the correct thing, which is in this case, just don't be a racist, and then actively saying the incorrect thing or doing the incorrect thing is stupidity. <sighs> stupidity just, it, it infuriates me. Like, use your brain for fridge sake. But, uh, anywho, just want it to be known that, just, I, look. I'm, the last video, I, 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 I said what I said and I meant what I said. I still want it to be known that if this channel gets to 10k subs before the end of next month, I will be making a video of me selling smoothie treats for free, because I like smoothie treats and I think they're awesome. But anyway, you already know the message. Be better and live with the rules of truth, honesty, critical thinking, reliability, self-control, and consistency with your words and actions. Go with power and knowledge that you are listening to the better generation that we will build. And I encourage you to spread the word of this community to everyone because in this landscape, everyone can benefit from it. And it would be selfish of you to hide it. But you should also sustain that you will leave with the understanding that you will be a better person for being alongside us all. But without further ado, have a good one.